It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thanks for tuning in. On today's service call, we're heading over to the Rockaway Peninsula. We're going to Rockaway Beach, right by the Marine Bay Bridge. Customer thinks they have a radiant, hydronic radiant heating system that's leaking, and they want me to bring my thermal imaging camera. And I said, well, which one? I have the FLIR i7, and I have the HIK Micro B20. She goes, bring them both. I'm like, okay. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. We dig deep and we find ultimately what the leak is and we propose ways of correcting it. It obviously involves you know, having a restoration company come in, remediation because we uncovered some mold, mildew, and a substantial amount of water damage to the structure. But nonetheless, using the right tools, we were able to pinpoint the location of the leak and set her in the right path to make sure that the house is solid again. Right now, just cooking a little pasta sauce. Some nice, nice pasta sauce there, guys. I uh, make a little bit of homemade contraption here once a week. And once it boils, we cover it up and we put it on simmer for about two and a half to three hours. The more that simmers, the more the flavors pop out of that sauce. It's gonna be good, and, and if you pay it, if you wait to the end, you may see the end result. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, leak and radiant system. I'm Mike, and this is Chris. Hi, you must be Cynthia. Hi, yes, I am. Hi. Tell me what's going on. Okay, so I have uh, the hydraulic floors are leaking on the second floor. Hydronic. Yeah. Okay. You have radiant heat floors. Okay. And I discovered that they were leaking because they were leaking from here. Okay. How long has that been going on for? Um, that occurred back in November, so I didn't turn the back on at all. Okay, right there in the kitchen. All right. Uh, the house looks fairly new. Is it like a massive renovation? Um, yeah, the, well. All right, so let's go to the basement and see the boiler. Then we'll see the area. We'll see what's going on. Let's go Rangers. Oh, yeah. Let's go Rangers. That's right. All right. Okay, you have a prestige triangle too. Okay, let me uh, squeeze in there for a split second. Take a look what you have. And... All right, so all these zones here. Okay, and I see that the attic is closed, okay, not being used. Everything else is open. Okay. Interesting. Closely spaced T's. Return piping is radiant from the basement. And here's other radiant. This is probably for the first floor. Now, you said that you think that the radiant is leaking. Did anyone close any valves? Or yeah, Michael uh, um, he closed off a valve. He wasn't supposed to. I hate when he does this. Oh. Do you know what he closed off? Um, he closed off one of these, let's see. You also have a water leak here too, you know Oh that? yeah, there's a water leak there too. Yeah. It's coming from like the, the boiler or? Yeah. Yes it is. Oh, you have a pipe leak here. Ooh. They ran the condensate into copper and it ate out the copper. Wow. Can you fix that too? Uh, yes, we, we can. The problem is it's the, 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 the condensate or the wastewater that comes out of this machine is very acidic and it will eat metal. Oh. And I guess it's going into the, the, um, the sump pump here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could do that. We could replace that with PVC and just have it drain into the, the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a, not a big, nah, it's tile's different, wood is something else. So, you know, I just want to keep it clean. Floor. 
one. Okay. Very good. And you got the water right there. Oh. And you got a pool too. Yeah, it's 25 feet by 16 feet. Very nice. Five feet deep. Very nice. Okay, where's the, okay, we're over there. So we're in here. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Well, that's all nice close. That's okay. shower that works this doesn't and right around the same time as the issue the leak was discovered they stopped using this one let's see what's behind door number one shower body let's get a uh, flat screwdriver big small big I'm curious to see if the stops are open someone really mangled up that tile which? Right there, right there. This is open. You guys want coffee? Nah, we're good. Thank you. Let's close these stops. Both stops are closed. Nothing comes out. So, let's experiment a little bit here. Let's pull the cartridge and see if anything comes out. All right, there's the cartridge. There's the retaining clip that fits right on top. Cartridge looks eh, but now let's, there's a balancing spool here for temperature. Mm. Hmm. It wanted to do something. You heard that little thud? Yeah. Heard that little thud. Let's see what we see inside there. There are also screens in there. Hmm. Okay. We're making some progress, aren't we? Let's try that again. dry <laughs> you gotta keep your feet dry right now this cartridge well, let's go get another one mm. I think I'm right now <laughs> that's it that's it that's shower that wasn't working the one on the exterior wall mm -hmm. and I pulled the cartridge out which controls the flow and temperature of water mm -hmm. and when I, I open the valves that are behind the trim mm -hmm. for servicing and I have water oh okay thank so, you. so it's again we're, we're, I'm, I'm still not I'm, you know we still don't know what the leak is but I'm leaning towards shower issue oh. only because of if if, if the radiant zone was completely isolated, mm -hmm. like we discussed, mm -hmm. then you don't have a continuous leak the way the valves are closed mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. If all the valves are closed, yes, and it makes sense that maybe it's a re leak in the radiant, but mm -hmm. well, I'm, I want to focus on that first. Mm -hmm. And yeah. good. so he's going to the truck to get a new cartridge, a mowing cartridge. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that in, mm -hmm. and then we can go from there. All right. Okay? Because yeah, every time I turned on the radiant before, the next day I would see the leaking coming down that way. So I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. But you still want to, you still need a shower fix anyway, so. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, <laughs> All right. It's in the truck. Mowing twelve hundred. Appears to be nice and clean in there. This should work. Let's see. There we go. Now we put the retaining clip back in. As long as I did that the right way. 
It's got to go down a little bit. See? Like that. Now, uncut, unedited, raw. I'm going to push that in. That's... It's cold and hot. Fully open the stops. Okay, back them out a little bit. Okay, right there. Nicey nice. Now, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. It's the million dollar question, right? <laughs> Bye, Funko. something to pull this out with. We got the, yeah, let me try that. Can also get the mowing puller, but. <clears throat> All right, plan. time to use a little plastic piece that comes with it. Let's see if it cooperates now. And there you have it. Now. Put that off to the side. Let's open up this again. Oh, let me not stand in that direction. Let me stand right here. All right, so it appears that we have a bad diverter. Let's just not let the water go behind the wall. Okay, now we need... Another one? This is, let's see the other one. Let's see the one that's on the, on the ledge right there. Does it look like the same one? Yeah. It does actually. Wow. Except there's a hole there. Where? Right there. Oh. See that hole? Oh, there's one. Here. Oh, there's a hole there too. Yeah, the same. Is it the same? Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Go get another one. Wow, I've never, you know, uncut, unedited roll. I've never replaced a diverter on a del on a mowing troll shower body. Because you know, mowing, buy for looks, buy for life. Or is that Kohler? <laughs> it's one of the two. Okay, that's in there now. You know what, Chris? I think I'm an idiot. Um, which is the one that? Oh, you're gonna try to sell me life insurance. Which is the one that we just took out of the top? The top one is the worst one. Where's the other one? Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hold this for a second. Am I, that, am I a complete idiot? Let's just see something here. Maybe I just have to pull it out? Did you not pull it out before? I, I didn't know I needed to pull it out. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got Mr. Pipe Doctor, how are you doing here? I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot. Uncut, unedited raw. But at least at the end of the day, they got two brand new mowing troll single handle shower cartridges. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is the other one the same way? No, you can pull the bottom one. Look at that, it's different. Yeah, it's weird. Alright. Yeah, see this one, if you just pull the bottom. Let's see. And then I think the... So if you... See so this one? Well, so pull the bottom, and I think the, the ah. top... That's why this is the... Yeah. Oh, it was messed up, because... This was there before and it was already open. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. See, it was it's like it's like a blooper. 
or I thought I was wrong, but I'm actually right. Mm. Right? Yeah. We're going to pound the gold at all times. Nice. Okay. Now, all right. let's go back to this one. So. I wonder, I wonder if maybe the body sprays that we're hitting, what have they been using? Since <sighs> Mowing. This is the brush nickel trim. It's very nice. We have a nice gasket on the back yeah, side really nice. of it. And we're going to slide this. Like we're sliding into your girl's DMs. Yeah, you just learned that one. I know I did. Oh, see, it pushed in by accident. Just learned that sliding into her DMs. Here come the waterworks. Okay, now, let's take... That was there. Actually, no, hold on. The screws. Tighten this one up, but not being quarterly. He's under a waterfall right now. Let's run it. They haven't used this shower since they saw the leak, so let's run the shower. All right? Well, they felt that they had magically turned it off by turning off the zone to the yeah. gradient flooring. Yeah. All right. Let me get up out of here. Now let's wait. It's working now. We just had to... We just had to solve a problem to make the other problem bigger. So that way we could solve that problem. Hopefully. That's the goal. Hopefully. All right. So at this point of the service call, and you guys are thinking like, Mikey, pipes, what are you doing? That You're not using the right parts. Actually, I did. I called Moen, and I told him, this is what I got. And this is what I did. He goes, man, we haven't made those, uh, those Moen 1200 cartridges in for like two decades. But you're right, on the older shower bodies, it will work. Just on the divert, you gotta pull it out. That's what that little, um, that little silver collar is, the silver, the white collar is for. Cause it's gonna prevent it from pushing it back in. And I was like, see, I'm good. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the radiant floor with the thermal imaging camera. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Keep watching. This door away. Yeah. This did a real <laughs> unorganized job with the radiant too. Same, kind of same deal. Look how many loops do they put in there? They wanted the floor super hot. Damn. It's hot. It must have like a hundred feet of pecs in there just alone. Oh, yeah, they get very hot. Yeah, that's well because there's too much in there. <clears throat> Damn. Just seeing if there's any abnormalities. This line is pretty hot. This one here, this must be the beginning of a new loop because here is cooler. All right, let's see the laundry room. It just stops right there, goes underneath. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nothing here. Just yeah, just turn this one. Uh, back in the bathroom, see if we see anything. It's the only thing I see is there's way too much packs. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at this. Look how this stacked right here. And that's a hot spot right here. What is up with this? That's a little interesting. Grab the other camera, the FLIR. Something is definitely up with that. I7 compares. All right, so there's that I saw. There's the spot here. I think they're just um, really close. Yeah. Touching close. Yeah. All right, let's go look downstairs again. Oh my God. Yeah. What the hell? It's like spaghetti. Right over here. Hold on. Let's do a comparison. Okay. 
Oh, so if you look at the, eight, uh, the B20 by HIK Micro, we're starting to see better resolution than the older FLIR i7. All right, let's look and see at this floor. halfway through the hallway. Oh my God, look at this. Horrible. What the hell are they thinking? Stops there. It's like dead space there. These guys did not, not have no idea how to put it radiant. Unlike this. Just that walk in the front door, grand foyer. We have half inch, Mr. Pex. 10 inches on center. We are gonna do the kitchen next. We have a little hallway here off the foyer. Laundry, we have a powder room. We're gonna be doing the rough in here tomorrow, we'll re-rough. Toilet's going over there and we're cleaning up all this mess right here. Cleaning all this up, single vanity, wall mounted. Let me show you the master suite. Again, Mr. Pex, half inch. And this is expansion Pex, by the way. This is getting a closet system, so we don't need to heat under the, under the cabinets. And we banged all this out. I tried to convince him to let me also put some radiant on this little sitting area, right, off the backyard. But um, he didn't want to do it. I was like, come on, you even got the closet here? And keep in mind, we do have a forced air system. So this is strictly gonna be supplemental just to keep the floor warm, you know? It's really nice about raiding, like in the summertime, you go in the bathroom, the floor's warm. You know, you set it for 70, 72 degrees, you have a warm floor. The master suite, he's getting another Single vanity, I don't know why, but single vanity, wall mounted. Toilets go in here, the water closet. I tried to convince it to make it a true water closet, but that didn't happen. And then the shower. And I'm gonna put a linear drain in that far corner. This large area is getting a tub with the floor mounted faucet. Now, let me show you the rest. All right, we're not ready for the kitchen yet, but I'll show you the dining room. Here's the dining room. We're actually on a slab that has foam and the mesh and the tar paper. So we zip tied my half inch pecs. Again, 10 inches on center. On this wall here, I kind of lucked out, right? And this wall here kind of lucked out. We're getting all built-in cabinets. And he's putting a window in there. So the only thing I've left is... That's how you install Radiant. Come on, like a professional. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then you turn over here. And what is that? Yeah, it is what it is. Right, let's not talk about it. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah. But look how it's just like a, it's like a mess of spaghetti there. That's why it's so hot in the bathroom. There's just way too much of it. Yeah, they put one next to each other. All, yeah, of, them. all of them. And they're normally, if you look here, they're, they're, they're spread pretty close together anyway. Mm -hmm. But if you look here, you know, you, yeah. got, you got some good separation, but mm -hmm. normally 10 inches mm -hmm. uh, on center, each line. All right. There's already damage to the pasta. No damage to the pasta. There's already damage to the kitchen ceiling. They asked me, Mikey Pipes, open up the ceiling a little bit. Let's just see what's going on in there. I'm worried about mold and mildew. Getting the pasta. Get Tony. So we're going to set up the drop cloth. We set up the ladder. And we get a couple drop cloths down on top of the appliances, the countertop there. Set up the ladder. Get a bucket ready. In this case, you know, you never know. We could hit a, a pipe or something in the ceiling. At least, you know, we'd identify where the main water valve is in case we have to run downstairs and do it. So you be prepared before you start cutting open things. Always have your eggs lined up, right? And make sure you're ready to go. I hit a pipe with a saw, or with a knife or whatever. I hit something electrical. I need to know where the main water valve is. I need to be prepared, all right? Let's go see inside the ceiling. See in here. All right, so the 
sheetrock there in this direction is clean. And up here, this is, oh, this has got to be the shower, maybe. No, this is something else. I think, I think we are, uh, you know, I think this is not the shower. This is the wash machine. It is, yeah. I think so. This is something, or it's the sink. Hmm. Over here, the two by of the, of the lamb beam. Yeah, 16 inch laminated beams. Damn, I spared no expense building this house. <laughs> we got to figure out what this is. This is either going to be the vanity or it's the wash machine. Okay. Let's take a measurement. Because I can't look under the vanity with the thermal camera and the homeowner, well, the, the wife, you know, there's two parties of the homeowner. So the wife component of the homeowners is really insistent that, listen, it's gotta be the radiant. And the only thing that we did that they haven't done while we were there is to turn the heat up. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm really leaning towards something is funky going up on up there. And I'm thinking in my head, well, if there's a crack or is a nail and it's a perfect world and you haven't ran the heating system in all winter long, expand you know as it as the pipe is heated it'll expand and if there's a nail a crack damage what have you to the pecs then i guess you know the 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 crack or hole will expand and it will cause it to leak that's what's going on in my head so i was like listen let's pull the vanity out i already jiggled a little bit and I, it wasn't secured to the wall the backsplash was and that still stayed still come to the wall as you'll see in a, in a, in a second but i was like this is hot and cold water line disconnect the 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 tail piece the trap We'll slide the thing right out. I'll take the camera. Worst case scenario, it's 15 minutes start to finish. At least I could see with the thermal camera looking down just to see if there's a, any kind of evidence of a leak in the hydronic heating system. All right, here we go. All right, we are now pulling out the vanity. Hold on. No, it's not. <coughs> I picked it up. Put it off to the side. You still picked it up, though. Oh, yeah. it doesn't count. Tails. Counts right. bad luck. Where's the camera? All right. Let's see the camera. Let's see what we see here. Ooh, there is a hot spot right there, though. Right, unexplained hot spot. my foot marks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Could she be right? Maybe. You can't see that side of the... Let's go on the other side. So I'm going to see if you can get a hot spot from that side. Warm. Yeah, but there's no radiant in the yeah. in here. <clears throat> we opened up a hole, and there's the pipe that goes into there. It's clean. So I just a, really have a quick, quick, quick request. If you really enjoy this kind of content, which I produce and post daily, I'd really, really, really appreciate it if you. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell to get post notifications when I drop fresh new content. And I try to do it on a daily basis. I really have a great passion for this. I love you know, doing what we do every single day. I love helping people and I love just sharing with the community so we can all learn from one another. You know, not only possibly you learn something from this video and from the channel, but also your comments can help everyone grow, including myself, because no one is perfect. Absolutely no one is perfect. And try to learn something new every day. That should be the goal. So subscribe, thumbs up, thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below and notification bell. And if you're feeling a little bit extra generous, consider being a member of the channel with a donation of $2.99 a month you can have homeowner class status. Just check that little join membership button down on your desktop or mobile phone. Thank you, let's get back to the show. So there's the subfloor. And a lot of spots are hotter than others. And that appears to be where it's lined up with the pecs. And we have a spot right there. It's, see, you saw a drip? Yep. And it's cold water. It's cold water. It's, I got the money on the waistline. I really do. It's cool water. If it was hot, if it was raining, oh, yes. let's feel that. Can you get your hand there? Push that. Get up here. I feel that. Did you run the cold water or the hot water in the sink? Both. Okay, feel it. How's it feel? Does it feel like... What? Like on this, on this stream? No, the, right? the, the drip. Does it feel cold? Yeah, it's not hot. It's not hot. No. It's not hot. So, the next bay... There's that. There's that waste. Is it dripping there? The whole floor. Soaked. Soaked, yeah? Yeah. Well, now it's, now it's like a sponge. Really? Yeah. And those lines. Oh, just look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. So now at this point, the vanity is out. I'm convinced something's going on inside that wall. So I just, I'm, I'm convinced. So I'm going to bust one tile on that little wall that separates the vanity from the shower. And I bust it open, and look what I find. Yeah. That's it? There's water in that membrane. Should not be. Well, it can be. It can be. Um, it can be the membrane. There can be water there if it's watertight. <sighs> Explains the coldness. If it was radiant, it would be hot. You have, a, you have a failed pan. Plain and simple. Love the New York Post, by the way. See, keeping it real. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Mikey Pipes, the purpose of the vinyl pan is to have a watertight membrane between the shower area and the subfloor. And you are correct, but I take things a step further and I didn't get this on video. I took a Speedy, um, actually I took a wash machine, sorry, a dishwasher, flexible supply line, hooked it up to the cold water you know, valve off of the sink, which is no longer in place. And between the vinyl liner and the door rock, you know, for, that separates you know, for the, uh, the shower area, we put some water in there. Right, and I let it run in, a, in a one bay that was right there and another one over here. And I sent Chris downstairs and I said, listen, let me know when it starts dripping. And sure enough, about 30 seconds after I started pouring water from the, um, from the hose that I ran from the cold water, between the Dura rock and the, vi the vinyl pan, water's dripping at a really, really increased rate of speed. And I said, I just con I've confirmed now that the vinyl pan is compromised and like I've been saying for, I don't know, most of the service call, that something is funky with the shower. It was, I knew it wasn't the radiant to begin with because it was not isolated, right? It's, there's no such thing as being that perfect, that nail, that pinhole, that crack. A, a pipe that has a leak in it is gonna continuously leak as long as there's pressure in the system. And even though the supply uh, valve off the circulator was closed, the return side was still open and the line was entirely under pressure. There wasn't a check valve on the, on the return side. 
it wouldn't be this it just is what it is so confirm that i gave them the contact number for my public adjuster who will handle their insurance claim and they're in good hands and i said listen uh if it comes to the point where they're demoing the entire bathroom i really 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 would love to hook you up with the radiant the way it should be in the floor and we'll work with your insurance company you'll be taken care of all right, here's the intro, the outro commentary as we leave the service call. All right, a little after 12 o'clock on February 22nd, 2022. All right, yep, 2, 22, 22. And I know what a lot of you are gonna think and right, what the trolls are gonna say out there. They're gonna say, Mikey Pipes, you ain't testing, you're guessing. That's exactly what they're gonna say, some. I could have immediately, in hindsight is 2020, yes. The homeowner thought it was a radiant heat. I didn't think it was, but I, I went to the obvious things first. We, sh we saw one of two showers defective. We made the repair. And then we continued testing. If I knew, if I had a magic ball, ladies and gentlemen, I would have just stuffed up the, I would have removed the, the, the shower strainer. I would have put a rag in there and I would have filled up the shower pan and I would have waited. And I was like, ah, look, here's your leak, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your leak. And I would have been in and out of there in an hour, right? But that's not how it went. But that's not how life works. It's, it's not a, a perfect world. We found an issue with the shower. We made rectifications and we continue to look. We continue to look, we use our eyes and we listen. And then we diagnose using our experience. Oh, someone's filming something here. Wanna get some free food? Oh yeah, look at that, like filming. Little, little black party or something. Yeah, well, the film, film, film crew. We're in Rockaway Beach, zip code 11694, right before the Marine Bay Bridge, Marine Park Bridge, sorry. And now we're heading back to our neck of the woods, Taj Mahal lands. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Something a little different than the ordinary, you know? A leak detection, a leak search, using the right tools for the job. Thank you so much for watching. Be well, God bless, stay safe.